Hello everyone, my name is Matt and uh, this is the beginning of my Let's Play. I've been playing Minecraft for about a year to uh, two, two years now and I've sort of started this Let's Play as I've got my base sort of developed, not overly developed but getting getting there and I've still got a lot of stuff to do and I sort of will take you through uh, where I am. So as you can see the base is behind me, I've got a tower, it's built into the mountain uh, and it goes down sort of up and down in the levels so uh, let's get started. So, hopefully I don't fall, fall too far, because that would be kind of silly. Now, so I've sort of got a, uh, a makeshift uh, cow farm here. I, uh, I'm planning to move them inside, but I haven't found the room for that yet. I've planted a few trees out here for wood while I needed, and um, and yes, yeah, so this is the first walkway into my base. There is a, a nice long <laughs> tunnel. I preferred using this stone brick because I look, think that looks really good. Now this lever works uh, to close the door as you can see. There is a light, there is a daylight sensor out there and all the wiring is under here. Um, at night it will automatically close and stay closed um, and the lever won't do anything but during the day that lever is there just to keep it closed. Um, so yes, I think I should do it the opposite way around and I plan to to make a switch outside so when I'm outside at night and want to come back in I can press a button it'll open it and hold it open for a few minutes sorry a few minutes, a few seconds so I can run through alrighty, so this is the rest of my base so I've got a tree farm here on the left so sort of four trees, enough to uh, to get some stuff in here I think it's about seven high uh, so it allows me to gain sort of the the biggest trees before it goes into sort of really big oak trees which you could see outside uh, and next we've got my wheat farm uh, so here a wheat farm and everything farm so I've got potatoes, I've got carrots, I've got cocoa beans on the jungle wood over there and this will be my area for uh, pumpkins and watermelons but so far <laughs> I haven't found any yet so yeah hopefully we'll find some as we go on. Now I've got two chests here, one here is just wheat and as you can see I've sort of been collecting wheat putting it in. I used to eat bread but now I'm sort of eating steak and I'll start eat potatoes because they heal, they heal, they, they uh, resolve a lot more hunger so hopefully I'll do that. And so then this is my other chest where I've got some jungle wood, I've got cocoa beans, a hoe, sort of all my other potatoes, carrots and seeds. Uh, yes and so I've got a water, water spot here with a lily pad over like everyone puts in uh, so you can walk across it and it also keeps hydrated all the way out to the edge here which I'm sure everyone already knows. I've sort of got beds everywhere um, so I can sleep at night. Not that I'm unsafe in here just if I want to sleep and get rid of the night it's easier too. So this is my first starting area. I've sort of I've made a little uh, was it it's spring here um, with the science to hold it back and it just makes it very easy when you need water. I do carry a bucket on me at all times uh, generally with water in it, but sometimes you know you use a bucket or you need something for inside your fortress and, uh, and you don't have any water. So this was originally where I I had originally made this little, all this brick here was, uh, was dirt and I've replaced that as time went on. Uh, I'm not particularly happy with it so I probably will change it. I'll probably change this door to an iron door and put a, a stone pressure plate there because I already have one on the inside so that'll work fine. As you can see, this is where the tunnel comes in. Let's jump up here and we'll go have a look. If you have a let's hold shift and we'll have a look. See this little bit here? At the end of it, you'll see there's a hole, and that's where the daylight comes in for the daylight sensor, which is under there. Um, and also, I'm going to make that so as soon as it goes night that the door closes. At the moment, it's still not done 100%. I need to put a comparator in there. So, yeah, coming through there, perfect. So, this is sort of my building materials. Uh, I've been a bit longer, so I've got a few extra signs and hoppers. I'm slowly migrating this to my storage room, which I'll show you later. But, um, but yeah, and then this is sort of this was um, sort of my everything chest originally, but now I've sort of taken things out that I don't need. Uh, furnaces, nothing in that one that used to have cobble in it, and this one used to have dirt and gravel, but now it's moved. This still holds all the tools that I'm not currently using, so I've still got a few things. Sorry. <coughs> that I want to use. Um, got a, some nice fortunes on those. Uh, fortune 2 and unbreaking and that's nearly broken so I've got to repair that one soon when I get the levels. Uh, but I do carry around an efficient unbreaking and fortune pick as well as another work pick which is great. And then my sword has sharp as a knockback and my bow has power. I do have a bow that is um, that has 
sorry, I forgot what it is, has infinity on it and power three, but I'm saving that when I go to the end. I don't want to sort of use that up before I get there. All right, so that's the first two rooms. I'll go down there towards the end because I want to head away from my base. That's where my railway is. So I've got a mine down here. Um, not too, not too, uh, <laughs> too exciting. I am planning to make sort of a... Um, corkscrew up with a minecart and so essentially you jump in the minecart and you take the corkscrew down and the same thing on the way back up um, but I haven't done that yet so we'll go over here and we'll have a look so I've got sugarcane in here not automated yet so that's something I will do I'm going to automate it I probably will try to automate every sort of farming I have especially with hoppers so automate it so when you harvest everything everything falls into the water and uh, is carried into the hoppers which would be great uh, as you can see I have put a lot of um, crafting benches down so to help keep me <laughs> from whenever I need a crafting bench I can always find one so let's go into the enchanting room so I've got 15 here so you know as you can see the 15 books that gives me my 30 levels into my enchanting table I've got an anvil here uh, and this is my brewing station I plan to have three lots of stands I just haven't gone to the uh, nether too much I have an extra blaze rod but I'm gonna save that in case I want to make eyes of ender now so I'll go through these chests, I suppose. So I've got blaze rod, gas tears, sugar, redstone, glowstone, and nether wart. All very useful things at the moment for crafting. Though I will get more things, and I probably should bring those spider eyes down so that I have them ready to go. Now this is my chest for bottles, which is excellent, and this is my sort of made potions and water bottles. What I'm planning to do is sort of dig out maybe one hole back here so I can make this a double chest and put a stair here so it looks like it's a, uh, a normal block, but it actually isn't, and the chest will still open, the double chest will still open, that is. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, if you can see the video cut a bit, I was uh, I got, <laughs> got a Facebook message and it sort of ruined that one. So... As I said, I got my brewing, and then I got water here for, uh, for filling the bottles. Uh, I could use a cauldron, but I just feel that this way it's so much easier. And a cauldron only holds, uh, can only fill three bottles, and then you have to refill the cauldron anyway. So at the moment, that doesn't feel useful to me. Um, I'll save the storage room for last. But so in here, I've made sort of a vault room. So all my all my rooms sort of, if they can, they look out over over the hills through the mountains all made with the stone brick and glass there's a full brick of glass i know i can make panzer glass and it's a lot cheaper to use but i feel that the uh the glass blocks for me they feel better um i, I want to get i'm trying to find if i can make sure get rid of the the lines between blocks that would be great um but i haven't figured that out just yet so this is my vault room and instead of holding things in chests until this room is full i'm going to start filling it up so i've got gold blocks emerald blocks and diamond blocks so i have done a bit of mining so far and been lucky but it's also the with the aid of the fortune pick um but yeah so it's an obsidian room to signify my vault with an iron door and a button on either side when I made this room, I almost forgot to bring a button with me, so I, I put the door down, I put the button in, walked inside, and uh, and realized I couldn't get out, but then I realized I was lucky enough to build a um, an extra button and bring it with me. Okay, so this is my storage room. A uh, little side room over here. This is probably where I'll break blocks when I get a, a uh, silk touch pick, but I haven't got that yet. So these are my sort of basic blocks. I've just added this in, in this top row in, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Um... At the moment, the item frames signify what's either below it or above it. So, as you can see, this has got leather in it, it's got gunpowder in it, uh, slime balls, sugar cane, uh, wool, which will have all kinds of wool. So, mainly white wool, but then I'll have all the different colors that I can fit in here as well. Uh, clay balls, which is in this one, flint, uh, bones, and arrows. I don't think I have to go through everything. I can just walk past them and you can see what they are. So I haven't filled this row yet, and the same thing with here. So it's all the way around. Um, all these chests are able to open. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are, actually. I just built it today. Um, and there's a stair in here. Uh, and then half slabs through the rest of it. As you can see, there is um, some glowstone blocks. There's one there, and there'll be one there. Though you can't see that one. You can see that one because of the, the way you're looking up at it. Uh, I may put a wooden uh, plank in there later, but I'm not sure, Put and change the way the stair is. Uh, so you can't see in there. But at the moment, I'm not really sure. And I've got this dark bit, and I don't actually mind it because it's like dark here and then it's light everywhere else. So I'm actually going to keep that for the moment. Uh, as you can see, I didn't really notice it when I originally built it, but it is quite significant 
uh, subsequently quite um, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words actually it's quite apparent there we go when you got the next level above it uh, as you can see I put um, crafting benches here pretty much everywhere you can and yes so actually I probably, probably should show you what was just down here so so I got basic blocks and I've sort of labeled what is down each one so I haven't done that one yet because I only just started filling that today but basic blocks and wood blocks so you know you've got your dirt your cobble gravel nether rack stone bricks which a lot of um, nether brick, sandstone, which uses all kinds of sandstone. So I've got normal sandstone, smooth, and then the chiseled sandstone. Uh, and then for the wood, I have sort of all, all the four types of wood at the moment, and sort of the saplings ready to go. Uh, obviously, this chest is sort of lacking because I haven't sort of focused on that, but I sort of want to keep everything together. Um, so then these are my sort of, I'll go down to this end so you can see. So this is my ingots and blocks, valuables, dust, and quartz. So I've got coal, um, iron, gold, diamond, emerald, and all the other dusts, as well as quartz. And sort of, and I keep my quartz blocks in here, both of them, and then I can make the slabs if I want to, but I don't really, haven't really needed them at the moment. And yeah, so nice view out there, sort of made a big room. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put here. Um, as you can see, that's sort of more of the base jutting out there, and i got more base up there. Um, so this is my wall of furnaces, and I sort of went overboard. Well, I had a lot of cobblestone, so I sort of built it, and um, and yeah. So normally these is where I put sort of ores because this is my ore chest. Um, and when I get enough, I just when I get when I get a group of eight, I smelt them down, and yeah. So I, I don't think I'm ever going to need this many furnaces, but <laughs> because I can, I have the room. I'm happy to. So yes, I have room to go that way, and I've started to build down there. So when I go to the other, when I go downstairs, you'll see why I've put that in. Um, and here I'm going to put in sort of more rooms as I go along and I've created the room for that and I've sort of made them all the same where it's seven by five by three and then each of these corridors is has five stone blocks between the two wooden pillars uh, and I've tried to keep them sort of the same in that respect uh, though when I get up to there I think I'm going to have to turn and then go out that way uh, so turn right and then turn left uh, then go along because the mountain actually moves underneath us. So I'll go upstairs after I've gone downstairs. And actually, sorry, I was going to go upstairs first. Sorry, oh, what am I to, what am I talking about? So I originally built this uh, as a corridor. I'm going to plan on building sort of out here, building like a rooftop garden, sort of relaxing area up here. Not too much. Maybe might have something up here, like the the wool farm that I was thinking of making, but I haven't got that far. As you can see, the rest of the half of the island is sort of blocked off. Uh, and dark where this side's lit up. I've even blocked off here because I haven't decided if I've made it light enough, so I'm sort of making sure I don't have any spawns. So this is sort of my, my keep, I suppose, in my fortress on top of the hill. Um, I've sort of put, you know, blocks with uh, with the iron, <laughs> iron bricks in between, and I think that's pretty good. It looks like a sort of a real fortress to me. I was trying to decide what if I want, if I wanted to put uh, nether brick fences in, but I decided to go with the iron bars because they sort of fit better with the uh, with the stone bricks. So this is sort of my my keep. It hasn't got very much in it at the moment, but uh, I probably will put a lot more into it. I might even pretend to put a, a TNT cannon in it at, by the end of it, but I haven't. Yeah, I really haven't sort of gone to that point yet. Now this is my sort of light that you can see from all around. Uh, I don't know if you noticed when we were standing out over there before, but it's sort of off center, so I sort of need to move. I need to move it in sort of to where this is, uh, and I probably will in, in the coming episodes. Uh, I'll do that sort of to. I'll put these two blocks to line up, so it'll be two blocks wide for a stem, and then I'll make the um, I'll make the the lava chamber to too long I suppose and too high and one wide so yeah so this is so that's up here pretty nice you can see during the, actually I'll run downstairs and pull it today I'll change the time today so I'm on my on my own server um, at the moment no one else currently uses it I just do it that way so uh, one of my friends used to play with me uh, we used to play on the server together so um, yeah if he wants to come back or if, anyone, if I want to bring anyone else on I, I certainly can um, so yes, and that also means that I can test out things in terms of uh, if they're safe for multiplayer servers as well. So yes, as you can see, you can sort of see around, you've got um, the winter biome over there, I've got a forest, and then a desert, and a desert village over that way. 
Uh, Extreme Hills goes quite a long way this way, and then I think it hits a forest, and I've got some swampland down here. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit just there, and then there's swampland over there. And if you look right down there, you can sort of see the the, um, the stone brick <laughs> fortress again with the little black line. That's where my nether portal is. I have an interesting story. I'll, I'll show you when I come back down again about that. But yes, uh, and I think I've got more swamp. Oops, sorry. I've got more swamp out that way, and then there's... Um, there's, I think, a swamp down there past the forest. And then, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. And being in the extreme hills biome that I am at the moment, I found a lot of emeralds. So that's where most of those emerald blocks have come from, uh, from using that fortune pick. And I, I find when I use the fortune pick, I actually get sort of closer towards the three to four every time rather than sort of one, which is sort of great. Um, so I think my average will be more closer to, to three than it is to one. So, oops. So originally I'd built my nether portal up here, and as you can see, I blocked it in. And I went there, and I came back, and I came back sort of underground about halfway between now and where you could see the other portal, or the other room for the portal. And, um, yeah, that didn't sort of surprise me too much. So Sorry, that didn't make me too happy. So I, um, I sort of blocked this one in, turned it off, and I just kept that portal because it's a lot easier. And where I, where I spawned in the other is great, so I don't really want to mess that up. Uh, yes, so we're going downstairs now, and we'll see how we go. So in here, I've got my chicken farm. So I've got two entrances, two entrances to the chicken farm, and you can see sort of the roof from upstairs. Lots of chickens in here at the moment, so this is where I sort of get feathers, but this is sort of redundant now because <laughs> I'll show you why, why it's redundant in a minute. Uh, but the eggs is still very useful for, uh, for making food and those sort of things. Um, yeah, so this is the rest of downstairs. I've sort of made sort of another room here. I haven't really decided what I want them to do with it yet, but I'm sure we can find something to do. So this is my subway room. It isn't very neat at the moment. I probably will put in sort of one long platform and then I'll have buttons along the wall where I want to go. And you press the button and the track sort of sends you on your way. Uh, and yes, but, so this is the way to the nether fortress, the nether fortress, sorry, the nether, uh, which has a nether fortress in it, uh, very close to the, uh, portal, um, I'll probably save that for another episode when I go into the nether, and this is my way to the spawner, so I'll jump in here, and I might speed this up, so I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, so I came into this small little room here, and I had the all. I have uh, some cobble here, some bones, and I think you can guess now what kind of uh, what kind of spawner I have here <laughs> with the bones. So I'll make I'll make a sword, and uh, yes, I'll show you I'll show you what we've got. Uh, see, so yeah, oh, I sort of got a. Look at the spawn room right there. There's sort of a there's the eight blocks either side of the spawner with the center line underneath the spawner too low. I uh, sorry too below it, and the so the skeleton spawn in. So the room's completely dark, and yes, they come down here. The stone stops the water. They drop onto what I have placed is a hopper on top of a chest. So any items that the the mobs drop, or the the skeletons in this case drop, will go straight into the chest, uh, and then. I've opted for a crusher rather than a, a drop because it's just a lot easier to set up. Obviously, you've got to dig out a little bit more and have a bit more redstone, um, but it sort of works great for that in that respect. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want to sort of break the glass because that's sort of my, my viewing panel, if you may. Um, I should have brought some brick, actually. Oh, well, I'll fill it in and I'll come back and fill that later. So essentially what you do is you press the button here. Uh, and that sends a redstone signal. Um, I found this on YouTube, which is great, and it pretty much is a pulse lengthener. So essentially, when I press the button, which I'll show you in a minute, this just stays on until this gets all the way around. Uh, and I believe it's about 16 hits, um, or 16 half a hearts. So it's eight hearts. There we go. Eight hearts of damage. So therefore, one hit with the wooden sword. Sorry, the wooden sword with the um, stone sword will kill them, uh, which is very useful. What I haven't done at the moment is I haven't put a stop to stop full health skeletons coming in. So I'll probably do that in another episode as well. So yeah, all these are on full ticks. Uh, I can put more in if I wanted to to bring them down to to nine hearts, so I can just punch them. Um, so that's something I may look at doing in the future.
but yes. So what I'll do is I'll, um, sorry, I'll just quickly fill that in like that, and I really only have that one there, so I'll leave that and I'll come back and fill that later. So I'll show you how this works. So you press the button, and you just sort of loud, so I may skip through this. There we go. So now I can just hit them. <laughs> so as you saw, one just dropped down, and uh, you have to hit them a lot harder, a lot more, and sort of waste the sword. Um, if you have a look in here, so I've got heaps of uh, these are arrows, bones, and then I can chuck my own bone in there, and brilliant. And then I've got a crafting table down here as well. As you can see, there's a piston, and the piston, the piston logic isn't really that <laughs> that hard. So sort of the power goes into this block. You got a redstone. Uh, piece of redstone dust there and then that way you um, you grab both of those. There is a lot of caves around me, I haven't found them all yet but that hasn't affected my spawn rate so I haven't really worried about it. Alrighty, well I think that's I think that's it for down here. If there's anything, any questions or anything you want me to do or show better I'd be happy to do that. Uh, I'll switch back to my my <laughs> decapitator. I have been having a bit of fun with that. Um, oh, I didn't show you my enchanted chest. I'll do that when I get back, and then I might call it for an episode today. Um, I'm planning to go through and also sort of dig out all the sort of dirt in all the tunnels. Uh, I want to keep it sort of either at stone or stone brick, and that's something I've tried to do throughout, um, throughout the fortress. And sort of I put in these wooden struts throughout throughout the hallways. I don't know if I'm really keen on the look, but at the moment I do quite kind of like it. So this is my sort of enchanting chest. So this is my infinity bow and power. This is, a, this is the second one ever I've got. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so we've got power, bane of arthropods, protection, three, respiration, respiration. I found these two in a chest, so that was pretty, pretty awesome. And um, yeah, I think I'll uh, might head up to the top of my castle and I'll, uh, I'll call it an episode. <laughs> I think so. If, yeah, anything. If you uh, if you'd like to subscribe and like my page, that'd be great to help my channel get started and get going. And I'd be happy to make more videos. I'd be happy to take any suggestions uh, in terms of what I should do for future episodes. Um, maybe even make. I was thinking about making a uh, a throne up here, but I'm not sure about that one. I might make it down over here somewhere like maybe on the top of this hill I might make another uh, king's chambers or some of that where my bedroom would be or the, where the bedroom would be but anyway thank you everyone I hope you liked watching this video and uh, yeah as I said before if you want to uh, like or subscribe to my page be happy to or leave a comment saying what you did or didn't like and um, yeah hopefully I'll get back to you bye bye